I'm fascinated by Brunel's ship. Did it ever sail to Australia? The Great Eastern? The Great Eastern. No. no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the Great Eastern. But basically, what the problem with Great Eastern was sort of about, about, about the time she was being launched, the Suez Canal was opened. And suddenly, you didn't need 10,000 tons of coal to get to Australia. There was a shortcut going through Egypt. Um, so, Great Eastern goes on to a number of roles. Uh, they start her off as a passenger steamer to America, and she becomes a sensation on her first voyage to New York. In fact, they decide to take, uh, <laughs> take a load of New Yorkers on a two-day cruise, because they're just so Im impressed by the size. They didn't really plan it very well. They didn't take any food. They took loads of booze. And what happened, it turned into a sort of mad drunken brawl for two days at sea. And then they finally got that. The crew were having to like barricade themselves in. And they, had, so they didn't do that again. Uh, its most successful role, her most successful role, was in cable laying, uh, the transatlantic telegraph cables. Um, she then ended up as a kind of floating uh, an advertising hoarding in, in the Mersey and actually she was broken up on the Mersey and some bits of her uh, hull still survive in the Mersey mud. So, um, yeah, not quite what Brunel had planned.